All right, we got some sagging on that porch. What is that going to mean? Is this going to be a deal or is it going to be a dud? Let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to episode 381 of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV, the only place that I know of where you can buy turnkey real estate investments directly from a TV show, man. We're like QVC, but for real estate, and we cut it to you straight. It's not just about sales, guys. It starts with education. That's why we give you guys the truth, the unbiased truth, even if that truth is ugly and it makes you not want to buy the real estate. If you don't believe me, check out the other show we have here on Holton Wise TV called The Tenants from Hell Show. Man, I show you the worst of the worst in this particular property, right? Let's just start things off by talking about the elephant in the room, dude. Most sellers ain't going to do this, but let's look at this porch, bro. It looks like a goddamn you, okay? I used to skateboard when I was younger. It looks like a motherfucking half pipe, dude. We're going to get Tony Hawk up in this bitch, all right? So so here's the deal. This is a solid uh, deal if this is not a major structural issue. All right. The price is eighty nine thousand or eighty eight thousand nine hundred. The address is thirty three sixty four West Hunterth, Cleveland, four four one one one. It's been on the market a little bit over two months. Now, this is a solid C class area. We got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these types of duplex is in our portfolio these things are cash cows as far as the current rents we got one tenant bringing in 600 the other bringing in 665 that's 15,180 for the year you do your normal performance uh, estimates that should kick off a six thousand nine hundred seventy two dollar NOI but the question is what's going on with that porch man as far as that porch is concerned it could be two things if it's one thing, which is the porch itself is just all screwed up and we got to rebuild part of the porch, not that big a deal. We can probably get that porch fixed up. Like I'm sure there could be like supports and whatnot for probably 10K or less, right? Could be a pretty simple, easy fix. If, however, it's something bigger, if there are major structural issues with this home, causing it to sag like that then we got a problem it's going to be cost prohibitive to fix it and we're going to want to exit the deal so what i'd like to do is i'd like to submit an offer for just shy of their list price they're at 88.9 under normal circumstances this thing with that type of rent would fly off the shelves right because in addition to the 1265 it's bringing in you got to remember these are actually 750 dollar units right so you could actually in the future be bringing in 1500 a month so normally this would fly off the shelf right but that saggy porch is probably the issue here right so i'd like to go in a little bit lower 85 get the thing locked up and get our inspector in there we get an inspector in there he could tell us exactly what's going on if after he tells us what's going on, it's a major structural issue with the home, we got to back out the deal, man. We got to get you out of there, Q. We don't want you trying to get that. It wouldn't make no sense at this price. If it's just some issues with rebuilding the porch itself, not the main structure of the home, great. We'll figure out roughly how much that's going to cost. No, we're not going to ask uh, the sellers to take that exact amount off of the property because we already know that that is an issue. It's obvious. They're going to be like, yo, you didn't notice that there's a goddamn half pipe on the front of this fucking house? That wouldn't make any sense, right? But we got to see exactly what we're dealing with. And then I could probably chip off another few bucks. You got to understand. Hey, lenders. Are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> if this property didn't have this issue... It could sell for ninety-five to a hundred thousand pretty easily, right? So this issue's already dropped the price down. This issue's one of the only reasons I think we can get under contract for eighty-five, and then if it's not too big of a deal, possibly chisel them down a little bit. But don't anticipate me being able to chisel down the full cost because everybody knows going into this that you know there's a screwed up issue there. Something is wrong. Your porch shouldn't look like a half pipe, right? So the numbers right now appearing. Uh, as they are with the current 
NOI and a price point of 85. It appears the deal is an 8.2 cap with a 17.7% cash on cash return. But remember, all of that is going to be subject to change. Will that be the ultimate price that we can close this deal? I'm not sure. What will the cost be on that porch? I have to get some more information, right? And that's what due diligence is about. That's why you hire third party home inspectors in queue. We got referrals to third party home inspectors or you could hire anybody else whom you feel uh is got your best interests at heart and wants to get in there and give you that unbiased opinion right it's totally up to you right we're not going to force you to use inspectors we know uh, but we can provide those as a service i know you are in the business right you are an operations manager for a property management company you know how this stuff works so if you've gone and made contacts great let's get them in there let's get some more information i've given you all the information i can about uh, the type of numbers this thing's going to bring in, the neighborhood, man, it's a solid C-class neighborhood. All these two, one uh, duplexes, man, they're all built about the same. They got the same layout. We got a kitchen in the back, dining room in the middle, living room in the front, and then on the side of the end, you got two bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle, right? They're all built the same. I got hundreds in my portfolio, and they're all freaking cash cows. And by the way, notice that the sellers didn't provide us uh, the listing agents didn't provide us any pictures of the interior. Totally normal. You got occupied units, guys. Tenants never like people bothering you. Not to mention we're dealing with COVID, right? It's very hard to get people in, in these folks' homes right now, which is totally understandable. And again, not to beat a dead horse, but Q, you already know this, brother. You're working in the PM industry out there in Utah, right? So that's where I'm at with this one. This is one I want to get in there, get some more due diligence done, see what we could work out. Everybody else, if you like what you saw today, you're thinking about buying uh, real estate, investment real estate in the Cleveland market, you want to make sure you do your due diligence. And my team, we could help you with all that, just like we did Q. So go ahead and send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process. And as far as you go, Q, I know you want to pick up two duplexes. I filmed two videos for you already. Let me get you that third one right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.